Are you guys ready for an awesome funky bunny tutorial? The first thing that you'll need to get out is the white sheet of paper that I brought you. You'll need to grab your watercolors and probably a glass of water for some water. And I also have a tissue paper here. Um, it's just paper towel. Um, I'm gonna use my water pen, which is awesome, so I don't need a glass of water. But get those supplies ready and then come on back. So pause the video, grab those things, head on back. Now that you have all of your supplies, your first step is to watercolor the background of your page. So you're gonna color this whole page in watercolors. Remember, if you use too much water, it's going to completely disintegrate or break apart your page. So make sure that you're not using too much water um, so let's get started. Now that you've finished watercoloring the background of your paper, you're gonna set this aside and let it dry. So put it in a nice spot, let it dry somewhere else, and you're gonna take out your bunny template that I brought you. Now this template has some lines on it, as you can see, and the purpose of this template is to put different patterns in each line. And you can do that a variety of different ways. Um, I have included a couple pictures of here of how different kids have done it, um, but that's what you're going to be doing. I'm going to be using my black felt tip. You do not need to use a black felt tip. You can use any color marker that you have. You can use any kind of pen that you have. Um, I would just encourage you not to use a pencil because um, um, it might not show up quite as well. So next step, put patterns in between each line. Okay, now that you've finished making patterns on your bunny, the next step is to cut the bunny out. So as you're doing that, you might want to consider putting your watercolors or your watercolor paper um, underneath a large book once it's done drying. The edges are gonna start curling up kind of crazily. And so putting it on um, putting it underneath a book for an hour or two after it's done drying is going to help it flatten out and make it a really nice piece of paper that you can eventually glue Funky Bunny to. So when you're done cutting out, you might just need to wait for an hour or two as your watercolor dries and then flattens until you're ready to take the next step of Mr. Funky Bunny. Okay, so cutting out on the lines, we have Mr. Bunny ready to go. You're waiting for your watercolor to dry. If you wanna do something while you're waiting, you can start thinking about the silly glasses that I've given you. So you can color these glasses, you can watercolor them if you want, you can color them with marker. I'm going to use a marker to color mine because I think it's brighter and I like the look of my markers. So when you're coloring these, you actually don't have to stay in the lines because you're gonna cut them out. So take a few minutes, design and color your glasses. Now that you've colored in your glasses, you are going to cut them out. Now, you do not need to decorate and cut out all of your glasses, but you're welcome to if you have time and you're bored. Um, I would give you a suggestion when you're cutting out the glasses, what I would do is I'd first cut out each individual glass, the extra there. And then when you're cutting out the middle, cut out like a little chunk there 
so that you can fit your scissors through it. And then use that to cut around this circle. So you can see there, that gives me a good place to cut around the circle. Let me do that one time and show one more time and show that for you. So I'm just carefully cutting a little chunk out of the middle there by folding it over. Then I have a little opening there and I can use that opening to get my scissors through. That's kind of a trick if you wanna cut out a circle like you would for your glasses. And then you just do your best to cut on the line. And then cut the rest of your glasses out. Now, if you just wanna decorate one glasses or if you wanna do all eight of the glasses, you are welcome to do whatever you want to do, whatever you have time to do. Um, for this video, I'm just going to cut out one of my glasses, this one that I'm doing here. And once it's all cut out, we will finish the last few steps of our funky bunny. Just trim that out. So I've got my glasses cut out. I'm gonna carefully recycle my papers. So now that I have my glasses, I can put those glasses right on Funky Bunny. We're not quite done yet. We still need our watercolor, which I've let dry and I flattened under a large book. The last step is to take that background and construct your bunny. You will need a glue stick or a glue bottle for this step. I think you could also get away with using some tape if you wanted, but you're gonna glue on the back of this bunny so that he's nicely glued on, and then you're gonna glue on your lovely glasses, and that is your last step. Make sure that you're sharing this with us. You can bring it to our PJ party on Tuesday, or you can take a picture and upload it into our media file on Schoology. Mm -hmm.